What sort of verb is this? Do you know the name of this type of verb? Okay. It is an auxiliary verb, you're right, but it's got another name, beginning with an M. There are a few of them. Um, will and would. Shall and should. Can and could. May, might, must. And of course, ought to. Now, these are all called modal verbs. These are all called modal auxiliary verbs. Yes, they are auxiliary verbs. You need to use another verb with them. But you don't have to use this verb. You could say, oh, I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't like to see him. I... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, whether they are positive or negative, after a modal verb, you use the verb in the present simple first person. Then, I can say, can I say, I, I wouldn't have his life. I wouldn't have his life, yes. Okay. I wouldn't have his life. But if I want to say it in, in affirmative, I have to say I would like have I to have, have his life. Yeah, now if you use like, you have to think what is the verb pattern after the word like? Yeah, the verb pattern after wouldn't is present simple first person. The verb pattern after like is either to have or having. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I wouldn't like to have his life. That's my favourite. Mm. Yeah. So after the modal comes the verb in the present simple first person. After like either comes the to infinitive or a gerund. And I much prefer that here. I wouldn't like having his life just doesn't sound right. I wouldn't like to have his life is the best. Good. So remember, what is the verb pattern after this word? What is the verb pattern after this word? Yeah, and after this word it's the to infinitive or gerund. So, you have to, when you're structuring a sentence, you have to think of every verb and every verb pattern. And that's why you need to slowly, over time, work your way through English Grammar in Use, Units 53 to 68. But slowly, really take it in. No, you don't have this book, but you're almost ready for it. You have this one, because you're coming up from pre-intermediate level. And in this book, you have something very similar, but much shorter. Okay? You have only four units. They're called ing and to. And they cover work, go, do, like, enjoy, want, they cover quite a few things, these units, 51 to 54. I, I didn't do anything like this holiday. That's okay. That's I okay. couldn't, because I, I, I do. You don't have to explain money. to me. <laughs> but, these cover lots of verbs on the pre-intermediate level. They cover all of the modal verbs, do, go, have, want, would like. They cover want, plan, decide, try. Loads and loads of verbs, these four units. So do these four units, units 51 to 54, and think about buying the blue book as well, so that I can start giving you work from both books to bring you up to this level. Well, three books. I know, it's a lot of work. Great.
So remember to think about what is the pattern after each verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ought to. Ought to means should. They mean the same thing. We use them in the same way. Sorry, yes, you're right, might. Not may, must, must, may, might, must. I was getting too excited. May, must, might. It doesn't matter.